my mainstay colors have always been the Holbein paints. Mm -hmm. And I'll go over the palette here if you'd like me to. Yeah, so, why not? Um, uh, so I'll use a, a um, I don't use white, as I said in day one. I use a, a Holbein foundation umber, which is kind of an off-white color. And then I'll use a Naples yellow after that. And this is my current palette. You know, it, it kind of changes here and there, but for the most part, this is has been my palette for, for a long, long time. Uh, the Jean Brilliant number number three. I think there's three shades of it, so that's the number three. And then the, uh, the yellow, gray in the whole mine, and the monochrome tint warm in the whole mine have been colors that I've had on my palette since the beginning, since day one, pretty much. And I love these colors. They're just so versatile. Somebody in class, Juanito, brought up the, uh, the observe that, you know, at the end of class when you scrape all your paints down and mix them together to make kind of a, a gray to, re to use later, they tend to look like these Holbein uh, grays. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then uh, what I've been using also, kind of the counterpart to those, I've been using these Mussini colors, uh, a warm gray number two, and a, a dove gray, which is a nice kind of mauvey, dark mm. mauvey gray, which I really like. Those are both really beautiful. They are. Really, and I've been using them quite a bit. And then I'll use, go back to the Holbein uh, rose gray, and then some uh, mainstay colors that most people have, cat red light, you know, lizard and crimson. Those are in Windsor Newton, and um, those are fairly easy to find. You know, decent alizarin and cad red are fairly easy to find in pretty much any uh, professional gray paint. Um, raw sienna, raw umber, and olive green. color I've been using quite a bit of lately that I really like is this uh, transparent yellow green made by Rembrandt and it's just a beautiful kind of mm. transparent yellowy green it's just really nice and I, I like to use it mix it into my flesh colors and it just really makes those flesh colors vibrate nicely uh, and then um, some of the Holbein green gray has uh, been on my palette for a long time. Uh, similar to a compost green, but maybe not so vibrant of a color. Uh, cobalt blue is basically the only blue that I use. I may add ultramarine or something else if I think I need it, but generally I don't use blues too much. I use blues to often just uh, gray down my flesh color. If I'm using a lot of uh, warm colors and I need to cut them with something to gray them down, I'll use blues mm -hmm. generally. They're opposite. And then, and then um, a little bit of cobalt violet. It's kind of an interesting color. And terra rosa is the last color here that I've added lately. And that cobalt violet, is that a Rembrandt color as it's well? It's a Rembrandt color, and a, a terra rosa was a, uh, a Windsor Newton color. 